Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm going to show you how to measure for a wig. Or a topper, really. It's super important that you have a tape measure on hand, and perhaps a wig cap. I like to, I think wig caps make it a little easier to do these measurements, especially if you have a lot more bio hair than I do. So let's get started, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and put this wig cap on. This is just a regular old nylon wig cap. It has no elastic at the perimeter or anything like that. So they have a definite lifespan. They can only be used, you know, about a dozen times a piece before they get all, you know, loosey-goosey. So now that I've got my hair nicely compressed underneath this wig cap, let me show you the most two important measurements that you do whenever you are shopping for a wig. So let's get this tape measure going. So let's see, which side do I want to use? Let's use the inches side. So I'm going to go ahead and start and I'm basically going to trace the entire perimeter of this wig cap, which is why another reason why using a wig cap is so nice and easy. You're going to go all the way down to your occipital ridge down here. You're going to go right around your ears and here. So let's get started. You're going to start at the top of your head and basically trace the outline of your wig cap. Okay. Twenty-three and a half inches, which is basically what I keep telling you guys in my videos, my circumferences. That's how I get that measurement. Okay, um, so that is one of the most important measurements to wearing wigs because in most cases, an average cap wig is going to be twenty-two and a half inches. My circumference is a full inch above that, but yet I almost always wear average cap wigs. Why is that? Well, let me tell you. That's a great question. Um, the reason why is because there's another measurement that you should really be paying attention to when you're shopping for wigs, and that is your ear-to-ear. -ear. And there's a lot of misinformation out there about what your ear-to-ear -ear measurement actually is. I've got this Handy Dandy Jackson by Noriko with me, and you can see she's got this kind of standard top, but there's this seam that goes all the way around from ear tab to ear tab. That is your ear to ear measurement. Okay? And that is what it's measuring. It's measuring your crown. It's not measuring from here to here. That's not how you take an ear to ear. It's not measuring from here to here or here to here and the you know around. That is not how you take an ear to ear. An ear to ear is about seven inches, give or take, away from your front hairline and from ear to ear. So like I said, you're measuring that seam. You're measuring where your crown is so, so let's go ahead and do my ear to ear it's going to go from this ear tab all the way back i mean it's pretty far right all the way to here and then i'm measuring my crown you see and let's see how that measurement works out okay so i'm at about 13 and a half inches here that's important okay because according to john renault's size chart for instance a 13 and a half inch ear to ear measurement is average. So that's why I wear average sized wigs. I wear average sized wigs because my ear to ear is average size, but the perimeter, my cap circumference, this one, uh, that is average large. And so the problem is with me, like because of my measurements, because I know my measurements, if I wear something that's in a large cap size, it's got entirely too much room up here at the crown. And when a wig doesn't fit right at the crown, like it basically, this part will move and the rest of your hair won't move with it. It's all bulky and it bunches up and it just looks like there's something weird sitting on top of your head because it never lays completely flush up against your scalp like your hair would. So that's, that's why I wear average cap wigs most of the time. So it's really important for you to know your circumference and your ear to ear. And I think you'll be really shocked. Most women who think they're in a large or an average large cap size actually have completely average ear to ear measurements, which means you're wearing wigs that are too big for you most of the time. Um, so check that out. So this has been my little video about the importance of measuring. So hopefully this has helped you out. Contact our help desk, which is just support at C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S dot Zendesk, which is spelled Z-E-N-D-E-S-K dot com. So support at sisterwigs.zendesk.com, basically. And if you contact us, we will be very happy to, you know, lead you all through the measurements, 
direct you towards wigs that might fit if you're in between sizes like I am. You know, we, we got you covered. So until next time, I'm Heather from Sister Wigs. I hope you have a really great night. Bye-bye.